post Hurricane Florence. We are puddle jumping on Monday. So we've been stuck inside since, uh, Jeffrey's been inside since Thursday because he was sick, but Robert's been in since Friday. We had no school Friday and we have no school today, huh? But the storm's over. But we are just, huh, going for a walk, finding puddles. Miss Mia is just hanging out in here, huh? Been hanging out. Post eating. We just have some cabin fever, so we need to get outside. I don't think that's a puddle, honey. No, that's not a puddle. Yeah, we needed to get outside, and like everything's still closed today, so there's like nothing to do. So yeah, so we're just trying to get outside, see if that helps our moods today. The boys have definitely got cabin fever. I'm not sure if I have cabin fever or postpartum depression at this point. I am, we are a little over three weeks postpartum, and some weird noise, sorry. Um, yeah, and I think I might have it. I had it with both the boys, so I wouldn't be shocked if I got it again. I just, I let it go too long with the boys before I did anything about it. Um, like I said, I, I have felt like this for about a week now, off and on, but the last few days has been worse, and I don't know if it's just because we've been stuck inside, and have, like I said, cabin fever. So I'm just trying to see how today goes um, the next couple days and then I'm definitely gonna call my doctor because I'm not, I'm not opposed to going on something if I need to, but I'm just wondering if it is some cabin fever or if it is the postpartum depression. But it's just been, it was, the storm was fine. We actually never lost power. So, which was really, really great. But just getting stuck inside. We've got a lot of rain, a lot of wind wasn't so bad at my my in-laws and my mom are in Myrtle and they lost power but not really oh what's the matter they like half of the condo lost power which was oh I guess one of the uh what the generators or transformers I guess it is whatever it is something in the complex actually sorry if I'm shaking because I'm bouncing um oh part of so part now that I've calmed her down. Part of Robert, leave that big tree here. They'll fix it later, okay? Stay in here. Um, yeah, they like I forget if it was a transformer or something went in the complex or it wasn't working, whatever. But it only made half of the condo not work. <laughs> so like half of it was working and half of it had no power. So it was kind of funny. But um, other than that, that was all that they lost and. They didn't even, I don't even know if they lost it for 24 hours actually. And they're in Myrtle, so, which is where it was supposed to be pretty bad. So, Jeffrey, there's other sticks, find one. Um, we're fighting over a stick. Other than that, we're doing good. Like I said, just more, Robert, do not touch people with sticks. Or you will have to put it down. Jeffrey, that one's too big. Use this one right here, right here. That's a good size, just no poking it. Robert, no poking anybody with it. No poking. No. We don't use them at stores either. Gosh. Yeah, so Jeffrey Jeffrey has been like so beat up. Jeffrey, come here. I don't even know if you can see it anymore. He had an egg on his head. He got a bloody nose at one point from roughhousing. He's got a cut on his chin that he has rubbed raw and he had a cut on his lip. The lip, the nose, and the head were all from roughhousing. It was hilarious. I couldn't believe it. Oh, that was not nice. Pick it up, please. That's Jeffrey's. And he left it there just like you left your sunglasses. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're just trying to survive. Like I said, it's been tough. I haven't felt good. You don't need a face cloth right now because you're just going to get more wet. That's why I said we're going to just wipe it on your shirt. That's why I said we're going to take a tubby when we get inside. I figured why not. It's bath day anyway, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm just, I'm not feeling good. I don't know if it's because she's, she's definitely been eating more. So I'm having to nurse her constantly, which is fa fine because I have, you know, my milk is great. She's just getting one, sometimes two bottles a day at the end of the day of formula. Yesterday it was just one bottle. The day before she actually had none because I had pumped. So I had gotten so much pumped milk the like day before in that day that she had, all she had was breast milk. Um, so she's doing good. It is just, yeah, and she wants to be held all the time. Like one, I put her in this because I figured, I thought there would be more puddles, so I was like, I don't want to take the stroller. But honestly, this is what she wants. I have to do this. If you saw on Instagram last night or the other day, 
I posted how I did a, or actually it was last night, uh, how I did. I cleaned the kitchen and the only way I could do it was by holding her. So everything, just even this morning, I couldn't, I couldn't finish cleaning. I just wanted to like wash the floor and I had to, no, put your shoe back on Jeffrey. Just take, if their leaf got stuck in it, just take it out. Um, I had to wear her and then wear her to fold the laundry. It's just crazy. Robert, no throwing them, okay? You don't have good aim and you're gonna hit somebody. Okay? No. So, yeah, we're just trying to expunge energy today. I'm just trying to get them, huh? We're gonna get some energy out? Why don't you run around? Hey, not nice. Why don't you run? Go to the, go over there and just, I'll do one, two, three, and then you run. So this is like, it looks like they attempted to make this like a, uh, whatchamacallit, like a basketball court and they just never finished it, which is great because we took their bikes here. All right, ready? One, two, three, run! Run! Go to the end, who's gonna win? And sometimes we just do laps. But it's great, we would come do bubbles and chalk here and we took their bikes when they didn't outgrow them. So yeah, that's just kind of what's going on today. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it gets better, huh? But that's what we got all going on right now. Jeffrey, you gonna come run in the puddle? Okay. Go run, Robert, run and jump. <laughs> jump, jump. Go jump through it. Oh, you guys are filthy. They actually sat in the puddle, too. Robert, are you going to jump? No? Nope, I'm going to sit my butt right in the puddle. What are you finding? Legs. Little rocks? Legs. Whoa. Legs. We are just enjoying some sun. It's actually so muggy out, though. Oh, my gosh. They're wet. It's all right. They're washable. Right? You're washable? No. No? Uh-oh. Then you're going to stay dirty if you're not washable. <laughs> that is a tree. I see it too. You two are being silly. So, so silly. What are you doing? Oh, Robert, you're such a good big brother. Good job. Are you trying to help her until the bottle's ready? Oh, he's so nice. Yeah. Okay, be careful. So nice. <laughs> Guys, so I know I did not update anymore after, I think the last clip I took was of Robert. Soothing Mia, which was so cute for Missy. You wanna say hi? <gasps> oh, we are, she is just woke up. We just got back from bringing the boys to school. It is Tuesday. Um, huh, you're gonna, she's gonna wanna eat soon. I'm gonna eat too, I've got a bagel over here with some eggs. Huh. But yeah, I must say us being outside yesterday so made our mood so much better. We all feel much better afterwards. Huh. Even you. But today we're just kind of chilling. I am hoping to get my mood back because I was like almost crying in the car again. Um, definitely think I need to call the doctor. I'm probably going to call my doctor at some point today. Huh. Just trying to get caught up. I'm trying this week is my goal is to hopefully get the house back in order and get back on a cleaning schedule like I was before so we are working on that huh but yeah we are just hanging out like I said I'm gonna feed her myself and just chillax we're trying to just get some things done huh. both of just relax and enjoy the quiet the boys not being here for a few hours huh she definitely is having a hard time with them home because they're just, they're so loud. Like it's, and it's not that they're like loud, they're just playing and giggling and it 
she's sleeping, it disturbs her. So I realize if she does need to nap while we're home, we may just put her in our room and shut the door and put the sound machine on. And that seemed to help. But it took me like two days to realize that. So. Oh, huh, I think it's because we're getting a little older, so we're taking a little longer naps, huh? Right. Right. Oh, you're going to look at yourself? Oh. Oh. And I've already gotten dinner started, which is great, because we had to go to the store and pick up some more chicken, huh? Because I thought there was enough in the freezer. There's not. But that's okay. All right. Let me get this little girl fed. Okay, so Missy has been asleep for, oh my goodness, almost an hour and a half now. She's taking a really good nap. Part of it, she has slept on me, and I just transferred her because I want to try to eat some lunch before she wakes up, which probably isn't going to happen, but I need some more water. But I wanted to show you guys, we got a gift in the mail from a friend, and it is just adorable. Let me show you. This is the little dress, which is newborn. Oh my God, and the hat is by far adorable. Um, this is newborn, so she can still fit into it now. Oh, Oh, do you hear me talking about you? Oh, it's okay. I might not, I might have to feed you first, huh? Oh, all right. Let me just show you this really quick and then I'm going to feed her. We get these little pants that are three months and then this little outfit, which is zero to three, which is so cute. Oh, the pants. Oh, and I'm going to have to pick you up. Oh, you're going to open your eyes. We're getting upset. I did take the chicken. It's pretty much cooked. And I just put it in a pan. I'm going to put it in the oven later, so that's good. I think my sheets are all done in my dryer. So, Oh, it's okay. Somebody spit up on them this morning. And then I want to take care of this bag. This was our, like, oh, our, like, pool and beach bag. But... I guess we're going to get to feed you again. Oh, oh, there's some farts. Oh, oh we might want to check that diaper first. All right, guys. So now that she has calmed down, she actually started getting really gassy. So I gave her some Mylocon, which if you follow me on Instagram, I did post something. I think, I think it was on Friday about how she was super gassy and wasn't pooping. I wanted suggestions, you know, in case I was forgetting something and everyone was so so helpful i had a ton of a uh, ton of suggestions which we ended up going with uh we ended up getting some gas drops and those have helped tremendously but i think for about a week now i think it was about a week ago ed said something to me where he's like do you think she's got reflux because she was doing the um the, like i don't want to say gagging but like the face and like opening your mouth and like acting like you're gagging but you're not it's kind of like a reflux thing. Our boys did it too. Um, sh and I ha thought I had noticed it a couple of times earlier that day, but I was like, am I just noticing it because, you know, the boys had it? Is it, my just, is it just something I'm looking at? And even Ed said, said something and I was like, you know, I thought I saw it earlier, but, you know, I'm not sure. So obviously we've been watching it and she's still doing it and she's also arching her back, which is a telltale sign that they have reflux too. I think I said this um, way back. I think it was when I was showing all the formula we had we had bought. Um, I went with the sensitive and I went with ready to feed because both Jeffrey and Robert had really bad reflux. Jeffrey projectile vomited almost daily, at least once a day. It was always before bedtime. That was a guarantee, if not sometimes during the day too. So with Robert, we ended up doing a lot of, we, Jeffrey did go on, reflux meds I think it was like my not mylocon that's the over-the-counter Zantac I think is what it was and then Robert also had reflux he wasn't well he was as bad but he we realized that he did better with ready to feed so we did ready to feed for a while and then when we switched to the powder we just realized if we made it put it in the fridge got it cold and then heated it up for some reason that combo was perfect for Robert and the reflux got better so that's why we did buy a lot of ready to feed with her. We haven't used a ton of it. We actually haven't used any of it because those bottles are so big and you have to use it. I think it's within 48 hours and she just does not have that much formula. She gets mostly breast milk. If anything, like on a, honestly, she will get one, usually one bottle of formula a day sometimes none because I've pumped over the past few days and it might have just been enough that I've made enough usually I don't because she does nurse so much it's just like if I pump at night 
before going to bed because um, if she does get a bottle I still do pump sometimes I'll still get enough and sometimes I won't but um, and sometimes in the morning or in the middle of the night I pump and get some but honestly she's usually getting two to four ounces of formula a day just at nighttime usually from like three four o'clock on those bottles will be usually she usually will get a bottle because I just don't have a good supply at that point um, but we have noticed that she is refluxy I we've had to use the mylocone drops all day we use them all during the day at night she's actually fine um, but like this morning she threw up after she ate at like four she did throw up like an hour later so I am noticing she's spitting up a lot more the last couple of days and like I said, we've noticed the gagging and the arching of the back for about a week now. She does have an appointment on Friday and it is Tuesday right now. I did think of calling the doctor, but I'm like, we already have an appointment on Friday. Not that we couldn't have gotten in. I probably could have called and gone in right now and saw somebody, but it's not like a huge deal. And I don't even know if they'll start their reflux meds at this point. They probably will because I think the boys, they started at about a month. And so she'll be a month or she'll be four weeks on Friday. So they probably wouldn't start it till then anyways. And she's not like so uncomfortable that I'm like super concerned, but it's definitely something I'll bring up on Friday when we go. But I'll do an update after we go to the doctors. But so I had to wait a little bit before feeding her because I wanted her to calm down. She was definitely, she was doing the gagging and I did give her some drops, which seemed to calm her down. But I noticed if if I feed her while she's that upset or try to latch her on, she actually will throw up. So I've been really cautious about making sure she's definitely calmed down and then latching her on. Huh. But so that's where we're at. And I have my, I actually have you propped up on my lunch right now. Ed actually took our niece and nephew out. I think they were going to the, the range for a little bit, which is nice because it is so quiet. And I actually think the power washer guys outside are all done. They were here. Um, doing the building and I think they are done because I haven't heard them unless they're at lunch either way I don't care because I think after we nurse we may take another nap she seems so so tired this morning and I don't know if it's just because the boys are not here but I think she's just catching up on some sleep and she's also growing because I had to adjust the car seat again we actually she hasn't been in the car she hasn't been in the car seat since Thursday so Thursday, yeah, Thursday we brought Robert to school, and then Friday was the hurricane. The boys didn't have school, and so I haven't had to put her in. And I did have to adjust the straps because I'm, I'm not one of those ones. I uh, I know a lot of people like adjust the straps and like make them loose to unstrap them. I leave it alone, so I only adjust when they get bigger, you know, as they grow. Um, I've just always been that way. It's just so much easier for me. And so she definitely did grow in. Ed and I were noticing, like, she seems longer. So I'll be interested to see how big she is on Friday when we go. Because she has been drinking a ton. But I am definitely tired. I can kind of actually see it in my face. My eyes are super heavy. So I think after I was trying to fall asleep with her earlier. And then, of course, like, right when I was about to, that's when UPS came at the door. And I was just, I needed to sign. Of course, it was a package they needed me to sign for. So that's okay huh it was nice to just relax but huh so I'm gonna feed her feed myself and then I think we're gonna take a nap but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because the rest of the day is probably gonna be cha oops, excuse me chaotic once the boys get home because it usually is but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the last couple of days and I will see you in my next video which will probably be her update her what her her four week update which I am like I can't believe she's almost four weeks old. Huh. She is just, she's just so, so good. But yeah, so we'll see you next time.